<laughs> the retro filter is not good. <laughs> so we're gonna reshape this later, I guess. I like that there's a retro music option. Yeah, all they did actually with the uh, the retro filter, they added um, some visible, somewhat visible scan line that's too thin, um, and they distorted the image, and they added this weird. Um, Some weird tinge, but other than that, <laughs> it's this is not how games used to look. <laughs> Next time I play this game, I'll I'll, I'll put a reshade uh, with the uh, filter that I like. That I couldn't, uh, you know, I started using reshade recently because I'm just kind of tired of you know I I want to play the Ninja Turtle uh, collection with the um, NES Genesis uh, games in it. They just look horrible, you know, and I was like, okay, finally I'm just gonna do reshade because I, I, I didn't like reshade before because you have to, uh, you know, you have to download it and you have to put it into the game, but, you know, it's not, uh, I know some games actually they don't like you to put files in the installation files, I think mostly um, multiplayer online games, but Steam allows for you to, uh, to put reshade or most, for the most part, you can reshade everything, so, um, but I haven't really gotten into like customizing the look myself. I've tried um, some of the recommended um, CRT filters that um, people use on some of the pixelated games, and I found one. I, I think I, I like the uh, what's it called? The CRT Run Bun. I think it's what it's called. Even though it's missing like the the chunkier scan lines. That one I like the most when it comes to making it look like how games used to be. Because a lot of developers, they just misunderstood this whole concept of what games used to be supposed to look in the past. They don't look pixelated like this. There's always some softness, um, you know, um, to the games. You, they never look blocky. Um, unless, you know, you play those SNES games and there's that mode, uh, what's it called, mode 7. Um, where everything's like being zoomed in and out, you know, I mean, that you can't help that, but, um, but when through the CRT um, screen, everything is softened, you know, I mean, you don't, you don't see these blocky um, pixelation, so, um, and a lot of modern developers, they don't understand, um, this is what games used to look like before. Now the um, that modern Ninja Turtle games, the 2D fighter, uh, the beat 'em up. Those guys actually they released the game. I forget what it's called, but um, not the uh, not the uh, classic collection, but the completely new beat 'em up uh, 2D beat 'em up Ninja Turtles. Um, when they released the game initially, um, I don't think they even have a CRT filter, but then they patched the game with the CRT filter and everything looks orgasmic. They they understood. I don't know why they didn't release it to begin with. Maybe because they because uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding with gamers also, especially the newer gamers. They don't understand. They, they, they think that the pixelated, the super pixelated look is pixel art. <laughs> they call it pixel art. You know, but it's more like shitty looking pixels. Um, but maybe they thought, you know, uh, you know, they, they like how games look blocky. Yeah, but they, I'm just glad that they uh, they patched it. Now the game looks orgasmic, actually, with the CRT filter. Because for modern games, um, for, for you to implement a CRT filter for modern games that are pixelated, um, that are using the, uh, the pixel art, <laughs> style you have to add the bilinear filtering to the image plus the uh, the scan line you know um the 
the first uh, beat em up collection by Capcom had issues with the CRT filters, but ever since then they've learned. And then I use reshade now for that collection and it looks great. So, um, but yeah, I have to reshade this one. But I'm gonna use, I'm gonna soften it up a little bit here because it's better than that raw, crazy pixelated look. Hopefully it translates fine um, in the uh, uh, video image. Select level. Four is how many levels? Uh, eight, nine levels in total. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's, that's a surprise. <laughs> Wait. Oh. It just so happened that as I was... <laughs> as I was tilting the analog stick to the left, he started moving to the left and I thought I already started uh, controlling it. I love I love shoot 'em up. So when I saw this game, I was like, oh my god, it looks so good. The bosses look pretty good. So hopefully, it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, once we reshade this bitch, it's gonna look amazing. Anyway, I started blasting achievement. Nice. This is definitely contracts uh, inspired. Whoa, okay. What is that times 15? Oh, that's the score multiplier thing. Oh, shit. Okay, so when you hit um, RP, you can stop. That's great. So you don't have to toggle. I, I hate it when you have to toggle that. When you can just pull a button, you know? Especially these days with the, uh, the shoulder button. get from, from that creature is just uh, points. Um, what's that? Why is it green? Oh! <laughs> oh, I was just saying that they're friendly, I guess. Gameplay is pretty tight. Oh, how many? Um, oh, you have 15 lives. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Hopefully, they have like an arcade mode uh, where you can just play from the beginning to the end. Oh, okay. That one goes all over again. Lost 
Nossa, isso é pretty amazing so far. Oh shit. Many bosses. I want that whatever that is. Wait, I didn't see the sign over there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's four missiles again. Okay. Oh, is this a power up? I thought it looked a little different. Stage is getting a little too long. Oh. Because now you get these repeat enemies, you know, um, or repeat situations. Oh, well, maybe that's not too long. Why your armament is something? Dang. Whoa. Life's lost seven. You unlock a new skin. Did I not? 
Okay, it just keeps going. <laughs> Whoops. condition achievement. So maybe with the higher difficulty you just get um, less lines, you know, and it's possible. Okay. I don't know what the um, the lightning power up is for. Oh, oh, I like how it pulls back the uh, camera in there, that's nice. It's a nice twist to the um, the, the robot heads um, boss in the Contra. Contra one. You have to destroy a third one here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice nod. I better use the uh, PlayStation controller because um, Xbox D pad is not the best. And when I use the analog stick, it's um, sometimes I accidentally, um, when I'm like um, crouching, sometimes it starts moving my character. Stay out of here. Markov, infected xenobiologist. Wait. Nice. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> you were expecting everything to be telegraphed after the uh, first two attacks, so that was kind of misleading. I didn't even see those, uh, the writers in the back. Very cool. <laughs> There's something in the background. Some kind of meteor. Oh! Pretty amazing game so far. Oh, he was like an infected uh, member of the military. <laughs> he wanted to help you. He killed himself after giving you the power up. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh! Whoops. Especially with no power up. This is brutal. They died is still like oozing like acid and shit. Complete train without destroying any boxes.
Oh. That's too scary. I don't think you can be killed by the. Okay, yeah, that was just like in the background, the, the, the electric static there. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's where they put that guy there. Fuck you up. Okay. <laughs> Not very nice. Oh. <laughs> Just when you think that um, the game is being a little easy, you know. Saying, so, yeah, you sure about that? Oh, you're supposed to go this way. I thought you got to jump up into the uh, back of the uh, skull uh, guy, you know.
I didn't even, wow, I didn't even, I thought it was just a box. Are you kidding me? Give me additional um, HP. I mean, their lives. Synthesis of antidote. Get to the game over screen for the first time. One, okay. If you retry the, let's see if it. Oh, nice. Okay, you start at the very beginning. I do like that a lot. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna stop here. Just wanna just stop the game. It's really good. This game is really good. It's uh, definitely one of the best, or, or the best, could potentially be the best contract clones. Because um, there's another one. That came out several years ago, but it was so brutal. It was um, it was really hard, but it was a little try hard, you know. So <laughs> you know, I play a lot of the uh, growing up playing on Contra. Con um, what's the sequel, Contra Two? No, Super Contra. I played that in the Genesis or oh, NES. Beat all of them, you know. Um, you know gotten to a point where it was just so easy but this this game um, I forgot what it's called there also there's also like a robot character so they were trying to copy um, uh, that Genesis Contra what is it called um, they were trying to copy that one but it was so brutal um, and it was one of those, yeah, it, it was just a little too try hard, so I, I kind of stopped playing it. But I really need to revisit it for sure. Um, but this is definitely better. But you can see that it's, it's getting harder as you progress through the stages. Uh, they're giving you a lot of lives, I guess, so you can kind of learn the game. Because if you continue, you do have to start from the very beginning, which is, I think, it's important for a game like this so that you can learn patterns. I know a lot of modern gamers or newer gamers playing a game like this, once they beat the whole thing, to them that's that's the end of the game, especially if they've unlocked all the achievements. But a game like this is all about, you know, being able to to survive it from the beginning to the end in one, one playthrough, you know, and then try to increase your score or whatever. So um, does this game have um, a leaderboard? No, no leaderboards. That would have helped a little bit, but I like I like the game a lot. Um, the CRT filter is shit, but um, next time I boot up this game, I'm gonna um, I'm going to reshade it. So yeah, great, great game, and it's cheap too. It's like what twelve dollars or something like that. It's better than 
any $50 games that, that you can purchase right now. Especially if you're a fan of shoot 'em up, so. What a great job that they did with this game, so. Amazing. <laughs> 